presentation tomorrow? Yeah, 8 o'clock. So no what? what? <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, nine. <laughs> it's okay. We're all like families and we not just only care about how we can destroy the world the fastest. said he wanted the rocker of the acid, nose of the state, tail of the speed, um, give me plenty of volume. It's uh, Rick's baby this one yeah. and uh, I think it came about after just riding the different boards and just feeling what, what works for Rick. And I gotta give Sonova credit that they looked at a guy that was 67, 68 years old and took him seriously. I mean no, who in this industry does that? But these guys, they did. They, actually the brand. We are actually the company. We are actually one team, one family. And if we don't figure out a way to do this, then it will never work because we all have only one goal, to make this customer a fan of what we do. You're testing out some boards? <laughs> okay. Well, get your ass over here then. I'll do a bit of an introduction for this. When I first, when Bird actually, since the time I won, hurry up. Where are you at? Oh, maybe somebody can open the door for him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, here, put it there. More than 20 times this close for being arrested, talking to these people over there at the airport, they just think we're 
Like, why is it that a golfer, you know, can get his shit for free, and we don't have any money, we can't even eat, we just go surf, and they have to charge us 50,000 bucks for every stupid piece? <laughs> yeah, we, we race these boards in the Carolina Cup. So, two two pieces race through the Carolina Cup, but be able to add in different noses. So, you could have, you could buy this board as one, and then buy this half here, and it goes onto the front. So, you could essentially turn up to a race with three pieces and be ready for all conditions. Uh, 2009, so... Yeah. You know, you have something that's before your time, and everybody says, ah, stupid, doesn't work, it's not gonna happen, whatever, all this stuff. So, maybe tell us a little bit about it, and, uh, yeah, and then we can go surfing. There's actually waves. Everybody's saying, get the hell out of here. <laughs> uh, so, you get a little bit of extra weight. Uh, basically, what it does is it makes it more rigid in between your feet, and it allows the nose and the tail to have a little bit more of a natural so, the basic components are just the carbon fiber tube, right, these powder tubes. The ball bolts, I don't think if you see us now, two bolts on the top and two bolts. So, all right, second, and it arrives. Whereas sometimes it comes later. So, Kelly, explain us about the new idea for the board. It's just up, wheels on the bottom. So then they, they can stack away. If it's on top, they can the force to be 12 6, but they don't have storage issues even with 12 6. So here you can check in on nearly any airline. Any and with surfboards <laughs> or raceboards. So it's going to be the same way as a disposable thing on board. So I think it's just such an advantage. But a lot of these kayak guys, though, it doesn't say anything. It's it good. Is good. Oh, that's good. That's good. Worry up for two halves and make sure everything lines up. It's instructional video on this because smart enough great for traveling with bigger boards and yeah, solve the problem. The tubes are definitely the key. I can measure where we need it, the middle. Same level and parallel or as possible. In the middle again of this one, also to be a red one. If I in the same round so Make sure that the flex is there and the screen. <laughs> Everybody, it's now high tide. Honestly, we've got to hit the water dock in the next 10 minutes if we want to have the best of it. All right, and then we have uh, two hours from now and we meet again. Yeah. One slip and I'm back to the start. Something about the snow brand that, that had a hook that made it seem like it was nice to be involved. I think it's you know it's something that, that I hope grows because I think actually you can get more out of your connectivity with the waves 
by doing it, then, then it's that immediately apparent. Retailers have that, because I don't. Have bands board. And then you can have a family board, or you know, if you just want to have some fun in the water every day for an hour and go in the water, you want something that lasts and that's good and that looks nice. <laughs> what I bring to the table is the retail aspect of it, and I'm not sure. And you know, you're going to pay for it. But hey, guess what? It's not shaped the same, it's a little bit heavier, it looks different. Most of the time, kind of just by like going to that stand. Also, another thing, from all have a relationship, we all kind of love and therefore, and not only that, okay, we didn't need another brand, but I think you need another brand too. So if we're doing, and uh, yeah, we're going to go to September, um, and, and for us, uh, last season, um, I actually saw one of the boys when we actually came up here, put it on the shelf. But if you can then, you know, for us, this summer, and the uh, polyurethane board wrapped in polyester resin, so it's really thick. Lucky. And then we just finish it off with like one layer of four ounce of digital print. So virtually what you're getting is you're getting the effect of a, a sandwich construction board. You, know, you see that where the white is, it keeps its whiteness. Whereas, but I want to do it tomorrow because I didn't have a hammer. I, factory. I had, we cut it and I took the hammer and I tried to smash it. I almost hit myself. And then I started smashing it. I got to do it tomorrow again. I, the way I smash it, it's not, it's ridiculous. I full power, yeah. Even on the rails? No, that is so, so it's not quite a proper sandwich for our production line a lot quicker. So, you know, we can deliver a, a quality board at a better price. The most economic way of making a board 
as much as anybody wants wood, Dave. There's no wood. <laughs> you say, make America great again, right across the <laughs> <country>. <laughs> You've got your logo again. There's that brand recognition and association with you, with you. You can get the bags with your logo. I can tell you this: 35% carbon packaging. So for us, you know, so that. one of the easiest possibilities to yeah we want to grow how this all started that, that's by the way Alex it can normally be but it was definitely necessary <laughs> uh, need a lot of volume but still the board which yeah makes it easy to get and they're totally fine for us and uh, yeah we want to try them. so if you can buy Nova is a unique selling point. Uh, we're always thinking of doing special events. The money and the candles. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
a dead song. This is um, Cody downwinding in Maui, and he went 10 kilometers. And you can see here, he actually slows down a bit, and actually has the paddle stroke to get going. So there's a couple of strokes. Yeah, I'm using that same good GPS with the same board. Another tag? Oh, so, push 
Okay, they don't they don't have to work on the ball. So if you can put that's the next exception, Martin. Different stiffness from from what normal way spots have. Is the key. It goes like this and it's back. It's like be fast. You have to adjust it a bit. That's what we can do. Strength. It's just that. Like people, you know, why is this? Because a Boeing. Okay. It's just, Take a lot of those, those tubes this much closer to the power of your blade. So that connection with your blade is... You already lose energy, your board's changing shape when you're trying to get the motor pumps. Yeah, we want to really get them home and test them uh, properly. Uh, then we would make the change and that's the only reason, not just one.
G'day everybody and welcome to the first ever inaugural Super Duper Sonova Open Invitational Pro-Am here in the south of Thailand. We got one of the hottest fields ever assembled on the beach. It's gonna be a bit of an unorthodox race today. A few little tricks for our brave competitors. Let's get stuck into it and see who can win. So lining up, right to left, Leonard Gaius, Noi Garyu, Kelly Margetz, James Casey, Shrimpy, all the way from Japan, Martin from Germany, Taku from Japan. We're about to go. Here it is, the start of the first ever Sonova International Invitational. Go! And they're off! Shrimpy, fast start. He's got the ball caddy in the water for him. Noi Garyu going off like a rocket 16 year old. Nice yeah, start from Martin from Germany. Kelly Margetz is employing the. Kelly Margetz doesn't know it's not a running race. He's just run halfway to the first buoy. All right, we got the human buoy out there, Dylan. Looking a bit shaky on his feet after last night. They go around him. Oh, and he's in. Dylan's gone. The boy's down. <laughs> Kelly Margetz makes the most of it. He's surfing that. Oh, he's off. <laughs> Don't lose that GoPro. I just bought it. Oh. <laughs> No, he's dropped it! Oh, Where's the GoPro? <laughs> Get the bloody GoPro, Linzo! <laughs> Alrighty, so drama early. Linzo's gone down, the GoPro's gone down, he's gone from first to last. As uh, Nuik makes the most of it, goes around the next human buoy turn. Beer in hand for that human buoy marker. Looks like none other than Burt Berger himself. James Casey scratching to keep up there. Kelly Margetz still looking for the GoPro. Tino, the man from Zenova, he's out there. Everyone's looking for the GoPro. That's the maiden fly to the GoPro. Find that bloody thing. All right, so drama at the front and the back of the field. There's a lost GoPro. There's a human buoy turn drinking a beer. Young Shrimpy's going down. Oh, look at that textbook turn from the young Japanese competitor. Leonard Guider side by side. James Casey, oh, Noik's going to do a little bump here. He's going to catch up side by side with James Casey. Jimmy Waits sits back. Catches onto this. There's no flow on that board, Jimmy. You've got to surf that normal. Noik, Jimmy, side by side. The tension, they grab their boards. They run up the beach towards that first buoy. The marker, where a special little surprise awaits them. Oh, and look at that. Noik, just Usain bolts it up the beach there. Jimmy. Feeling a bit of the effects of the jet lag there, struggling. Taku in third is going to close him down. But Noik gets the first Sonova marker. And there we have the magic beer table. So the first challenge for the boys. <laughs> this special, unique Sonova handicap system. The faster you are, the more beer you got to drink. Noik gets a free pass on that. He's got to down a whole coconut. But Jimmy's got a Scala Giant beer. Taku gets a beer, and uh, I believe the rules say they have to keep drinking beer until the last competitor catches up. Are you near? <laughs> oh, Taku can't handle his beer. It's all over the place. Noik's down in his coconut. I hope somebody spiked that coconut. Jimmy's trying to hold down the beer. Oh, and here comes Shrimpy. What's Shrimpy got? He's got the Coca-Cola beer. <laughs> Now alcohol free for the children. As now we got Martin and Leno running up. It's gonna be tight here. Can Jimmy down the beer? <laughs> Taku's struggling there. He's on the ground. Jimmy's gone, Jimmy's got it. He's down. Martin grabs the beer, he's German. He'll drink that in about two seconds. Jimmy, Noik's down the coconut. Jimmy's down the beer, they're off. Leno catches up. Taku struggling there, that's all foam. Martin, come on, you're German. You should be down there in two seconds. For the pride of Germany. Come on, it's like Oktoberfest. Oh, he drowns himself in the beer. Losing a bit of time here, the young German. The Sonova shirt's drenched in beer. Lena Guider's getting a little bit of a move here. Our race director, Paul. The beautiful beer table. Wow, that was an exciting change over there. That was Formula One style. Jimmy, he downed that beer in about three seconds. That was a beautiful pit stop. Kelly Margetz still looking for the GoPro. He's losing a bit of ground there. But uh, Martin taking up the rear there. He's going to... Uh, <laughs> bringing up the rear. Awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> taking up the rear. 
Martin Bree bringing up the rear there. <laughs> you slipped out. <laughs> oh my god. All right. I'm losing it. Everyone's losing on the beach. The, uh, the crew's done their first beer run. Martin's bringing up the rear. He's closing in on Leno Guy. It's been out front, Jimmy, after that smooth beer transition. That was like a Formula One pit stop. Straight in, straight out. Taku struggled a bit. It was all foam. I can still see foam in Taku's beer. Taku, you haven't finished. Get back in here. <laughs> Kelly Margett's still looking for the GoPro. It's all right. It was only, it was only five days old. But it's Noik and Jimmy going around the human buoy turn. The beer drinking human buoy turn. Oh, Jimmy gets a little caught up there. Noik's made a break and Shrimpy's caught right up. Look at this vintage performance from the young Shrimpster out of Japan. Going for bragging rights in the family there. He's trying to outdo his old man. But oh, it's neck and neck here. James Casey, Noik Gary, stroke for stroke. If you're just tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, you're watching the uh, inaugural Sonova Pro-Am Invitational International Masters Series event here from Kowalak. And Noik takes the lead. He's got half a board length over James Casey. They go up to the next man. Boy turn, he's down. The boy turns down. Noik stays on his feet. Jimmy does a backhand reverse round around the boy. Who's going to get it? Kelly's still looking for the GoPro, no luck there, about $300, but Noik's got it, he's on the little runner. He's gonna catch it, if he stays on this, he's gonna get all the way to the line. Wow, Noik scratches onto it. Jimmy concedes. And Noik Garyu, fresh from his 16th birthday, looks like he's gonna take out, oh, if he can stay on his feet, he's gonna take out the first ever International Super Series program. Oh, he jumps off the board, he runs up the beach. There's one more obstacle waiting for him at the finish. Can he hold on? Jimmy's on the next wave. Tagu, Shrimpy, on the one behind it. Lift those legs, buddy. Alrighty, here we go. Noik running up to the Sonova flags. Benny. And there goes Noik with a uh, vintage jump. Click of the heels, and he takes out the first ever Super Series Invitational Sonova. Sup race of madness. What'd you think, Gwynny? That was good. And here comes James Casey. Is he going to be able to do the jump? Oh, he does the Superman bonus points. I only give him a bonus 30 seconds for that one. Nice no. And another beer to skull. And here comes the family duo. We've got Taku and Shrimpy all the way to the line. Who's going to take it out, father or son? There's honour and glory and bragging rights for the Japanese family here. Oh, look, Shrimpy, lift those legs. Go, Shrimpy. Go, Shrimpy. It's going to be all the way to the line. Who's going to have the best jump over? Oh! A cartwheel. I think there's some bonus seconds on the line there. That was impressive. James Casey. That was tough, mate. How was it, mate? Bloody tough. The new cow kids never let up. How was that? Um, I looked like you might have had it. You did a vintage beer skull on the other uh, halfway yeah, point. Yeah, Kelly's been, been coaching me on that one. He's, um, i got to thank Kelly Margetts for that. Linzo. Yeah. All those tips help. That looked like textbook Linzo. Yeah. But you know what? It came back to get me a bit later on. Yeah. Noik made his move and my stomach made its move, if you know what I mean. Controversial, Noik had a coconut halfway through. You think that might have made the difference? Oh, he was very well hydrated, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, very well hydrated. Whereas I was, you know... Oh, oh, I was very impressive. Oh, yeah. yeah, we're going to have to go to the race committee on that one. The coconut versus the beer, but well done there, Jimmy. Great performance. Where's the young man himself? Let's find Noik. Get over here, Noik! No, Gary, you're out of New Caledonia. You've just taken out the first ever inaugural Super Series Sonova Invitational Pro-Am SUP International here in Kalak Beach. A bit of a controversial race there. It was neck and neck with you and Jimmy. You pulled away at the end. How do you feel? Yeah, it was a very funny race because we have to down, shut down uh, Jimmy or B and me a coconut. So it was very fun. And yeah, I, take a, I took a, a wave at the, the last uh, 100 uh, uh, meters. So uh, I took the first, the, first, the first place and I'm really happy. <laughs> good stuff, well done buddy. All right, you deserve another coconut after that. Yeah, should be. Good job. Who got it in the end? That was a uh, photo finish, father and son. Get the, uh, let's get these guys on camera. All righty, the father and son performance. How was it out there? That beer, um, there was a lot of foam in that beer. Yes. What's going on, mate? I think there was. You have to take that back to the race committee. I think you haven't actually technically finished that beer. Well, 
Yes, ah, uh, couldn't finish it. <laughs> then the reverse twice. Oh, that was hard. <laughs> Sunny chasing my back. <laughs> you know which one? Me and uh, Sunny? I'm pretty sure Shrimpy got you <laughs> at the end. Good work. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Alrighty, and that wraps things up. Kelly Margate's still looking for the GoPro. I'm down about $350, but no worries. He owes me a few drinks at the bar tonight. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to the first ever inaugural Super Series International Invitational Sonova Madness Race. Uh, thanks to race director Paul. Thanks to Tina and the crew. A quick development in the race. Here comes Lena Agaida, the mother of two of the first ever International Super Series Sonova Madness. Dash for cash here in Kalak. It all comes down to the final jump. Is she going to get the bonus points? Oh, the car wheel! She's pulled off the car wheel. That's a good 10 minute bonus time. That could put her in the first place. Awesome. All right, Lena, quick word here. Uh, I believe we've got to run this by race director Paul, but I think you get a bonus 10 minutes for a cartwheel. So that could be the difference there. How'd you feel out there? Oh yeah, great. Uh, I was one with the ocean. I really like swimming, um, so I thought I'd swim some more. I noticed, uh, <laughs> controversial, you skipped the beer, the beer table. Was that a no, pre-race tactic? No, she did. I had some beer. You had a sip? I had some beer. She had a smaller beer. I had a smaller beer because I have, I'm a mama. All right, <laughs> getting the mama strength going there. <laughs> Leonard down the beer and uh, Kelly Margett. You've beaten your teammate Kelly Margett. He's still looking for the GoPro. I'm down about 300 bucks, but that's all good. All right, thanks for competing in the first ever International Super Series, Lena. Thank you. You! Good job. That's it. It is warm, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs>